Hello everyone, Revers here, and welcome back to, well, welcome to Solaris, our Space Dwarf Regime. Regime. This will be a new playthrough with the new, uh, what's it called, Humanoids Species Pack. Uh, we're going to be playing Space Dwarfs, as it says. Our home planet is Dwarf Fortress, and we're going to be using the new ship design, regular warp travel to mix things up a bit, mass drivers, and to look at our nation we are dictatorial mining guilds because well dwarfs in the mining functional architecture dwarfs with their uh, excellent architecture minimalist uh, or militarist being strong and uh, military kind of nation and a fa fanatic materialist we're definitely very protective of our own uh, Resources. We're also in the alpine world because mountains and dwarves. We're going to be strong to help with the minerals. Very industrial or industrious to help with the mineral count. Natural engineers. Being dwarves, our engineer, engineering capabilities are awesome. But we're going to be not adaptive because we do not like leaving our uh, home. We don't adapt well to foreign environments because we were born in the mountains and we lived all our life in the mountains and that's all we know. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be playing medium map. We'll do we'll do a spiral two arm AI empires. We're going to drop that down to about five. One advanced AI start fallen empires. Sure, one primitive civilizations will leave. AI aggression normal, difficulty normal. Any uh, FTL method allowed. Empire placement random, advanced neighbors. Let's go ahead and turn that off so we don't get any advanced neighbors. And we're going to leave Iron Man mode off for uh, any corruption or game save mess ups. I will not be reloading. I will be playing uh, Iron Man mode in a way. I won't reset. Alright, let's go ahead and play. time I figured it'd be best to uh, deal with uh, just showing you the nation what we got. Alright, so in the eon since the first primitive space dwarf communities took shape in the rugged mountain valleys of Dwarf Fortress, our civilization has spread and prospered. Despite our rapid progression through the technological ages as a species, we were fragmented and inefficient. A new system emerged during these chaotic times and delivered us from the superstitious beliefs and brought order to society. Some resisted this change out of an irrational fear, but after several pacification wars, they too became productive components of a greater whole. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the space dwarf regime has finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Alright, let's begin. Uh, I made our sun the very hot rock, and... Alright, so let's go ahead and start things up. First things first, our science ship, the ISS Crescent. We're going to have you survey system. Go ahead and go in here and start building a second science ship right away. Construction ship, believed to be for now. Alright, let's go ahead and choose our first technology. So, first physics research. We're going to do either physics lab, power plant, or research speed. Let's go ahead and get research speed right away. What are you? So all these people have spark of genius, which is actually pretty nice. So let's get the research speed. 50 months. Our first society. Monthly influence. Mm, bio labs or growth speed. This will unlock the biological path. Uh... This will administrate a path. What do we want? Let's go with growth speed. Might as well. Alright, coil guns. That's good to start out with right away. We could. But mining network 2 is probably what we need to go for quickly. Yeah. Mining network 2. Alright. So now that we have our research set. We have our science ship ready. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. Split feet and click this one we'll split this fleet too and what we're gonna do is 
All right, so this is where we're starting. Very far end of a two arm. So let's go ahead and send Strike Force Griffith. We're going to send you northwards, space northwards. So where you, we'll send you move here, here, here. All right. We'll have you go up here and just kind of loop around. Come on. There we go. And then after that, just come back home. Alright, Strike Force Behemoth. We're going to send you out this way if we can. Just to explore, we'll. go and then let's start making our way back around and there there and back home there then strike force Cecilia Cecilia will send you towards our galactic south if they overlap some, some that's fine. We'll just uh, let them do their thing. How far down we want to go? This should be good. We'll loop around this little section. So I did a lot of research between last playthrough and this one. So hopefully this goes a lot smoother than the last one. Then again, we're not going to be hated by everyone right away being a AI nation that wants to exterminate all life. And then just head back. Alright. With that, that should be everything. Let's go back to our main place. Anything else we need to do? I think not. So, let's go ahead and pause and let everything do its thing. Let's speed things up a bit. Alright, so we're going to be uh, slightly more friendly. We're not going to be too friendly. We want to go to war still. That's still the... Hey, plan. Anomalous readings registered. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, fell risk of 60%. Scanning the star unveils a small object in rapid orbit. It's small size and high velocity makes it difficult for our sensors to isolate. We will leave you for now. We definitely don't want to waste our... Scientist on a 60% fail. That's level 3 right off the bat. Alright, so our science ship's almost done, so let's go ahead and. Construction project concluded. Alright, I'm not sure how much I'm a fan of that voice we have chosen for our uh, AI kind of do. Alright, so let's go ahead. Where's the new science ship? ISS Emissary, assign a leader. Let's go ahead and recruit. What do we have here? Anomaly research speed plus 50%, anomaly fail risk minus 25%. Wow, that's nice. Uh, 40, 33, and 50, 33, and 31. Okay, so we're going to go with you. You're young and a very nice uh, stat. So we'll go to recruit you. Choose you. You're now part of the emissary. Right now, we're going to send you. So we got two semi-inhabitable planets that were not going to be good. They're Alpine World. Oh yeah, being uh, non-adaptive, it may not be. All right, but let's go ahead and put you here and survey the system. Then after you're done with that system, survey this one. All right, so go ahead and pause. Let things go. Let's go back to the very hot rock. So as soon as we find something here, we're going to send our construction ship. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and check out our planet while we're waiting for things. I'm going to slow it down just a bit. Check out our surface. Alright, so here's what we have here. So, pop building here. Lots of minerals, of course. We are making 16 a month, which is pretty good. Anything... Alright, so we're probably going to clear up this and build a pop here. So let's go ahead and clear that. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'll speed it up. Still nothing in our system. Alright, so, the ISS Emissary has made a startling find on Fajantris 2. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Dwarf Fortress. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Fajantris 2 are sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out here. Plus 60 society research gain. Awesome. That should help out quite a bit. For this, drop it down 25 months. Alright. We now know without a doubt that the thriving biosphere is not something unique to Dwarf Fortress. Both the scientific community and the public are at large and are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encountered are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus on our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Committable initiative. We have more important things to focus on. Let's do the committable initiative. Situation log updated. That's where we wanted a uh, habitable world survey, so we'll do that pretty early. Alright, so we have a 70%. It's an 18 tile planet, which is actually pretty good. The Space Dwarf Fortress is a buzz of the new alien life found on the ISS Emissary. We hardly we, while hardly intelligent by Space Dwarf standards, the fascinating beings defy easy classification and hint at the immense complexities and possibilities of the universe. Okay. So, that was something. Alright, so this planet right here, let's go ahead and go planet summary. Resources 2-2. Two, two. Tile blocker cleared. Alright, so we've cleared the tile blocker, that's fine. Uh, let's see, 2-5 energy, or 5 minerals. One, two, so three, four. Oh no, there's another one up here, so that's another four. So six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nice planet, actually. Okay. So this spaceship, or this science ship is here. Let's go ahead and have them survey this system, then this system. No. Oh. Alright, we have encountered some form of alien vessel in the VMOS system. These strange objects have been flagged as outfillings. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Interesting. News of alien ships humming through the reach. Dwarf Fortress in many ways ending with the first chapter in the book of the Space Dwarf Regime is a bit of a stellar empire. Alright. And then survey the system afterwards. So, we can go ahead and research them. What are we... Uh, growth speed? Yeah, let's go ahead and research the alpha aliens. Alright. So there's another planet over here. Is it also Alpine? Nice. 24 tiles. 22. What do we have here? Go ahead and pause. 1.9k. Oh wow. This is probably these, like the, uh. It's a spacefaring nation, basically, not. Uh, kind of like a caravan, or basically they live in space. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we'll probably have a special project. Is that the Alpha Alien special project? Probably, since considering we didn't get any new ones yet. All right, we'll let that go. What is this over here? Alien vessel 1K. So that's they both share that. All right. So you're going to, yeah, survey these. Head back into very hot rock. Alright, we've encountered some aliens of the Iswaria system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Interesting. Was that, uh, over here? No, that's right here. Let's go in and check them out. Come on. Uh, what is it? Space cows, I think is what they're called. Something like that. Alright, go ahead and pause. Close that. Alright. Alright, we have received artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Akibans 1. They must have been active in the region of space approximately 12 million years ago, judging by the age of the artifacts. 
From what they have been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that these aliens are called themselves the Vatum Star Assembly. Were worm like annelids, roughly three to four meters in length, that communicated with each other through primary through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Interesting. Okay, so that's where we'll collect our artifacts. Uh, it'll be the special project. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing in our system so far that our system science... survey concluded. Oh, there we go. We Special did. project concluded. All right, the vessels we have come across in certain system were definitely capable of receiving and transmitting standard communication protocols. Visual indicators point to their cultural culture being largely space-born, and some phenotypes observed among them match no known planet-dwelling civilization. Unfortunately, their crews are completely uninterested in civil discourse. What well, little have we have been able to glean from intercepting intra-fleet communications indicate that they primarily subsist on piracy, occasionally recruiting fringe elements of space-faring civilizations to their cause. Deplorable. Alright, so that should be our special project done for our alpha aliens. So now we can go ahead and research our beta aliens. So, these are going to be unfriendly to us, I guess. Kinda, sorta. They didn't attack us when we first jumped in, so... Not sure. The tropical world, that doesn't mean much to us. 14 alpine world. Alright, so this is another planet that we found. Lots of food. Two minerals. Five energy credits. Six energy credits. Yeah. Not a very good planet. This one's pretty good. I want, can't wait to see the 22 and 24. Are they both alpine? No, that one's ocean. The Alpine is, uh, 24. We can't look at the surface yet, but... I imagine it's gonna be a pretty nice world. Alright. So... Our other science ship's not doing anything, so let's go ahead and send them out to... I don't know. We'll survey some of these systems up here. Survey. 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 Survey, survey. I'm gonna survey around till we can get to some of these ones with planets. Anomaly found. All right. Pause. Five percent fail risk. Level one anomaly. These are signs activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this in Hospital Rock. Go ahead and research. All right. Before I unpause, let's go ahead and survey back home. We'll do that for now. Go ahead and pause. Let them do their things. So we have an anomaly. Uh, construction ship, you are currently not doing anything. Let's see what we have. Two, two, five energy credits out here from two different sources. Nice. All right, so I want these. So let's go ahead and build a uh, mining station here. All right. Valtum engineers at some point built a massive orbital complex near Occubens 5, dedicated to computer research. Strangely, they seem to have ignored the normally popular field of artificial intelligence to focus exclusively on virtual reality and massive computer simulations. Most of the complex has been ruined by weapon fire and micro-meteoroids, but what remains is a remarkable condition given the station's age. Interesting. Issue the Special Project Orbital Complex. Let's go ahead and pause and check out that, uh... Oh, yeah. So it's a... So we need a level 3 or higher scientist, so... That's not gonna happen. Anytime soon. Did I tell my construction ship to build anything here System yet? survey concluded. Uh, build a mining station. Let's make sure we choose the right one. Oh, it's all on the same planet. Nice. That's a really good planet, then. So a nebula, I wonder what the benefits of the nebula is. So down here we have an alpine world with 25 slots. Nice. What's our second science ship? After you're done with that, let's go ahead and send you here to survey that system. Okay, yep, come on. Survey that system. Definitely want to check out that one. So we're getting some nice worlds around here. We may have to start getting out really soon and uh, survey getting these worlds populated. 
So far, we haven't come across another nation next to us, which is good. Let's see, we have another Alpine 12, Savannah 23, Tundra 18. None of those are particularly super interesting to me. Special project concluded. All right, so we finished the special project. The Spaceborne life forms, which the Space Dwarfs of Society Research has come to refer to as Tianki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely to say the least that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyways. So tech research option gain, frequency tuning, tech progress gain, frequency tuning plus 10%. Mm -hmm. Alright. So 17 months to our closest tech is done. Which will be good. What do we have here? Another leader has gained a level. Mm -hmm. Nice. Strikeforce Griffith is currently doing nothing. Let's make sure that they come into orbit of the planet so that they're not wasting resources. And then once... We probably won't send them out to do any more searching. This guy is supposed to come back around this way, so we'll see these planets next to us. Next to us. I'm not sure. What's your path? Come back out this way. Hmm. Maybe I should get this section explored just to make sure. So yeah, let's send out Strike Force Griffith again. So go ahead. What's your path? He's going through there. So Strike Force Griffith will start here, and then go here, here, and just explore all around this area. Construction project complete. Alright, construction. We'll go and look at that in a second. That's just our construction ship doing its thing, so... Go back over here. Let's explore all these. System survey concluded. Alright. Then, can you come down here? And then come back. Uh, come back. Home to a very hot run. All right. So construction ship's not going to be able to do anything right now. We have nothing within our borders that it can go and work on. So let's go ahead and send that back to very hot rock. Just head there. All right. So six minerals here all within three different ones so not outstanding but well enough all right so this is the 15 18 now you're doing the 24 which I'm excited let's go ahead and check out yeah we already checked that out come on so this is the only star within range of us right now of our borders anomaly found all right let's go ahead and pause here real quick Life signs have been detected coming from the inside of the atmosphere of this gas giant. Could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere? So skill level 2, it's anomaly level 2, 20% fell risk. Do we risk it? Uh, sure, why not? You're our first one, right? I can't remember the names. But go ahead and research it. Alright, so now we have our first tradition available. Alright, so, last time we had gone for, see, domination. And then that said something else. I'm not sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't say domination before. It said domination, and then it didn't say it. I don't know, maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm thinking we're going for expansion, colonization. So, first off, uh, colony development speed is increased by 100%, which is amazing, starting out. Then we can get capital buildings now produce one additional unity. And for the purpose of colonization and building frontier post systems count as being half the regular distance away, which will be helpful all in the long run. 
other than that, maybe we should do something like Prosperity, which is one of them has... Prosperity has no been any success of failure and starvation in the strength of its economy. Yeah, so ship costs and building costs are reduced, so everything will be cheaper when we start out. Then we can get ship speed, private colony ship, ship upkeep reduced, building upkeep reduced, and energy grid and energy nexus now also produced to unity. Which would be good too, but I think we should go for expansion. So colony development speed is increased by 100%, so we'll go ahead and adopt this. Yes. And with that, actually, I should have... Here. How far is our pop along? 34 out of 48, 1.16. Here, we probably want to build a... Otto Chitten Monument. I probably pronounced that completely wrong. And we're going to have him there when he gets done. Because we want to get our unity up as much as possible. So go ahead and pause for a little bit more. And let's see. Continental World. Alright. So there's a lot of eligible planets near us, especially a lot of alpine worlds, apparently. I mean, I saw several. This one, I'm excited. Uh, you need to hurry up and survey it. Continental, alpine 25, this one's definitely another one I can't wait to have. Alright, we discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant boat Krimar 3. Massive floating creatures having evolved bodies filled with lighter than air gases follow the wind current and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on their atmosphere plankton and each other. Fascinating. So Bokramar 3 has plus 3 society and that was up here. Alright so that's our science ship. They were succeeding in their research. What are you currently doing? Oh yeah, you're going to survey all those systems. You're going to survey my more important systems. What do we have here? Tropical World 11. Probably not going to be useful at all. Technologies. Three more months for this one. 12, 21. So, we're doing well. Uh, right now we have... Anomaly found. Alright. Pause. Alright, 20% fail risk again. Do we risk it? That's 40%. Probability is losing on our side. Atmosphere readings on Buckmore 1 did not match simulated projects. Let's leave B for now. I don't want to uh, risk his safety. Alright, so go ahead and pause. So, so far no neighbors. That's good. We have plenty of room for expansion. As long as I can get this world, if it's well. Oh yeah, and we can check out this world. 24. Construction project concluded. Alright, so... Research concluded. Alright, pause that. Alright, so new fracking techniques, so let's go ahead and do our new research while we're at it. Ion thruster, missiles, or nano composite armor. Uh... Let's do armor. We have a lot of leftover energy or credits right now. We may start building up our navy. Uh, no point not to if we're just having a surplus. So back this out. Let's keep it paused so we can look at this planet. So two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine minerals. That's nice. We can only, yeah, this is one below the max. Then we have two, Batherian stone, three, four, five, Six energy credits. Alien pets, which will help with happiness, I believe. One, two, engineering research. Some society, some physics. Food is semi-lacking, but we have some empty tiles we can use for food. Nice. Okay, so this is definitely, this is going to be planet number one to colonize. Unless this one down here proves absolutely better. System survey but it's kind of far away, so we may not do that one right away. Alright. 
Close these. Let's go to our space station and let's go ahead and build some. Well, we could go ahead and build our colony ship if we want. It's going to cost 500. Do we want to go ahead and send a colony ship out right away? We're at 7 energy credits. We can... We'll be in the negative for a little bit. Uh, is there anything we can do to supplement that? Alright, where's our planet? There it is. Matter of fact, let's check the service. We should be able to upgrade some of our mining facilities. Let's actually do that. Uh, is there more energy credits we can work here? No? Not really? He's almost done for the extra unity. Yep, go ahead and upgrade these. Uh, let's wait till we have more energy credits. And System then survey we'll concluded. Open up our. Uh... Oh, you have energy credit here, but we need a pop still. Go ahead and clear this, and when we get a pop here, we'll that's where we'll send the pop. All right, so all our leaders have gained some extra levels. All these ones. So three months until research speed is increased some more. That would be nice. Alright, so you, you're done. Come to the planet. Inner orbit. Strike Force Scylla. You're also here. You're done, apparently. I missed you. Come over here. Nope. Come over here. That's where I want you. Alright. Close that. Let's see. We're at a surplus of food, which is good. And research concluded. Alright, got the new research. That should be our research speed, plus 5%. Amazing. Alright, so point defense system or synchronized defenses. Fire rate plus 25%, weapon damage plus 25%. It's a station modifier. Alright, it's not terrible. None of these are particularly amazing. Specialized combat computers, maybe. Corvettes. Yeah, let's go with that. It's a rare resource, might as well. Alright, so with that, we're upgrading. I know it's paused right now, I just want to leave it paused so things don't start to go too quickly. Alright, so we're upgrading two buildings. Where are they? This one and this one. Our pop's finally done, so we're making more unity per turn. Our next pop's being built there. After this is done, we'll move the pop over. You are gaining 1.10 a month. We'll probably want to get some food. I remember, I have to worry about food now, not being an AI nation. Spaceport, nothing to build there, that's fine. Build, nothing particularly needed. I guess we could get. Let's queue up a couple Corvettes. Let's put us up to two, three. That's fine, we're making enough. Alright, let's combine these two. Uh, no, not you. Deselect you. Where's the combined fleet? Is there. Combine fleet somewhere. Merge. Yep. Go ahead and pause. Let them merge together. System survey concluded. All Horizons right. expanded. Nice. Alright, so there's... This is all looking well. We have encountered some form alien in the Bajol system. These strange objects have been flagged as Bajol until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Interesting. Uh, usually they name them like Gamma Aliens or something. Let's finish it eight months. Are we? We're at growth speed right now, so let's go ahead and research the Bajol. Go ahead and pause. So, once our borders start to expand, we can get. There's some nice areas around here. Settling this planet will give us all this to work on. You're okay now. We can finally look at this. All right, it's very sparse compared to the last one, but it is a max tile planet. So we're looking at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve minerals on planet. 
Nice. Two, three, four, six, seven, food, four, physics, three, four, engineering, only one energy credit though. Very lacking energy credit, but it's a pretty amazing uh, planet. So that's planet number two. I think we'll still go for this one first. Planet number two, which will be good. It'll give us time to... Uh, get this one for a purpose of colonizing building frontier outpost systems count as being half the regular distance which will save us on some uh, influence when we do colonize the other planet all right well this episode is kind of getting a little bit longer than the usual so with that i ask that you leave a like this being the beginning of a new series uh likes definitely help for it to get noticed if you want to see more uh subscribe and You'll be first to know when new videos are posted. Also, uh, leave any comments below now that we have a new thing going. Uh, complete free naming of anything that can be renamed in the game as long as it's appropriate for the channel. I will get it, I will change the name and have it uploaded with the next video possible. So, with that, I thank you for watching.